Now I'm going to demonstrate the sumo deadlift from the side. So as I mentioned, when you're setting up, you think about almost putting your foot under the bar and your shin is right up against the bar. Same thing with your other foot. Make sure they're evenly spaced with your toes turned out in a way that's comfortable for you. You're really going to think about driving your knees out as you go down to the bar. So set my core. Breathe in again. Push back into my hips, driving my knees out the whole time. Grab the bar. Get nice and tight in my lats. Pick it up. Reverse the motion to put it back down. You'll see my butt is about halfway between my knees and my shoulders, and my spine is nice and neutral. Play around with your stance a little bit to find what feels comfortable for you. Some people like their stance a little bit narrower. Some people like it a little bit wider. Another thing to keep in mind is a sumo deadlift is more of a technical lift where the conventional deadlift is a little bit more of kind of like a brute lift. So if your technique isn't perfect, you're not going to be able to pull your sumo deadlift. Whereas with a conventional, a lot of times you can just muscle it up. So if the weight feels kind of like nailed to the floor at first, don't be discouraged. Make sure your form's good and keep pulling.